Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about someone that used to go by the name on TikTok of Ticks and Roses. This story will involve someone faking Tourette's for a little bit of clout online and actually profiting from the fact that they fake Tourette's. Ticks and Roses gained a very respectable 500,000 followers on TikTok and they even started selling merch of the fact that they had Tourette's. Uh, spoiler alert, they didn't have Tourette's. Now before we jump right into the actual topic, I just want to quickly say how scumbaggish do you have to be to fake a disability online for a little bit of clout, viewership, and money? It's just absolutely disgusting, and the way that this entire situation unravels by her followers is even crazier. I'll always say this too, internet fame is one of the most addictive drugs that you can probably get hooked on. Once people get a taste of it, they just genuinely can't stop wanting more. And the worst part about it is, is they'll go to any length possible just to get another ounce of it. But let's introduce you to the protagonist of today's movie. Hey everyone, I'm Emerald, the other owner of Stardust Fiber Studio. Um, Rebecca, who usually runs this channel, is on vacation this week, so I'll be taking over. Uh, the the videos might look a little different, but it'll be same old same old for the most part, so see you around! Emerald's main account with their TikTok channel, Ticks and Roses' main goal was to just spread awareness for Tourette's. And everything was perfectly fine for a very long time of that channel being up until people started to call her out due to the fact that a lot of the ticks that she would have or a lot of the things that she would do felt very forced. I'm going to show you a few of the clips where people started to initially call her out due to the fact that her ticks looked slightly forced. talk a little bit about wow 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 i wanted to talk wow 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 i wanted to talk a little bit about wow 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 never mind So, people faking Tourette's on TikTok isn't a new thing, it isn't uncommon to see, sadly. There's a lot of cases and a lot of people to where they'll go and fake many types of disabilities on TikTok and eventually actually get called out by people who suffer from those disabilities that they claim that they allegedly have. You know, I have never once in my existence on this planet sat down and thought, you know, I wanted to become TikTok famous. That would be the first red flag to even think about. Then secondly speaking, I never really thought of setting up my phone or a camera anywhere and just going, you know what? I got the master plan, a Dr. Doofenshmirtz level plan here, so everybody buckle in. I'm going to fake having a disability and post it on TikTok. I don't really understand how people could do that. Like, don't you think that you would just be very guilty with what you're doing, especially when you're not only, you know, getting a massive platform from it, getting a lot of attention from it, but you're also monetizing it. You're making a lot of money from it by selling merchandise that you make from the disorder that you do not have. Because there have been so many people on TikTok who sat there and faked multiple different disorders, and then they'll act like they're silly and goofy. It's not a funny f***ing thing to do, it's just genuinely weird. It's genuinely nasty and deplorable. And I know a lot of you are sitting there wondering, probably scratching your head saying, you know, underflow. You've done a lot so far in this video, four minutes in, you're probably, you know, going to show us some more stuff later. But so far, you've only shown us a few videos that look a little sketchy, but it doesn't actually show concrete proof to what you're claiming. So I'm going to get to showing you guys a bunch of even more sketchy things. Now, the fall of Ticks and Roses would realistically boil down to four main things. The first one being the making of the Ticks and Roses Reddit. The Reddit would constantly call them out on all of the BS that they would be putting out on their TikTok page, constantly pointing out the flaws and constantly digging even deeper into the past of this person. So far to the point where it would lead to the second major thing that would lead to their downfall. 
There was a live stream that the Reddit found on their Facebook page about a year prior to the making of the Ticks and Roses TikTok account. That live stream lasted over 55 minutes long. In that entire 55 minutes of that live stream, not a single tick, nothing happened. It was just a regular, average, normal person talking to the camera for 55 minutes with no interruptions, no ticks, no nothing. The third thing would be two different videos that also surfaced after the Redditors dug that stuff up too, one of which being a two minute live video without any edits of that person not ticking once at all, then the second one being a poem that they would read perfectly fine for two minutes and 30 seconds straight. But that wouldn't be the final nail in Emerald's coffin. There would be exactly one more and possibly the hardest nail put into that coffin. Emerald's very own biological sister would then go on to the Reddit, that same exact Reddit that was constantly exposing Emerald, and then they would go on to expose them herself. Now before I read you what Emerald's sister wrote in the Reddit post, I'm going to show you guys the poem that Emerald wrote and read for people on a Facebook Live. I am going to speed it up quite a bit because it's a rather long yap session. It's pretty damn long and I don't want to make you guys sit through all of that so I'm going to speed it up by a large margin. This one's called You and I in Unison. When I catch you staring through the window, I want to pour the contents of your mind into a glass and drink you in. I want to hear your voice in my heartbeat. I thirst for your thoughts in the same way my lungs thirst for air. I want to swallow all of you and replace my blood with yours. Skin to skin contact just doesn't feel close enough. I want soul to soul. Because you, you are a masterpiece. And I, I am a child the first time they see a sunset. That awe-inspiring feeling where I have to teach my lungs how to inhale and exhale all over again. You took my breath away. I am someone lost in the desert who sees you and doesn't give a shit about water anymore. <laughs> because you, you are the living embodiment of satisfaction itself. <laughs> I am the sea, and you are the starry night sky, your smile shining in every star. And when my waves are consumed in chaos, lost completely to the storm, you are my calm, soothing the turmoil, easing the biting winds and numbing cold. The horizon's taste of something celestial when we intertwine in the moonlight. That quiet perfection. I never felt claustrophobic when holding you. Thank you. So it isn't entirely impossible for someone with Tourette's to not be able to do that. I mean, it's very possible that someone could go ahead and do something like that. But for someone like Emerald who talked about the very constant and consecutive ticks that they would have on a very daily basis, this just seems extremely unlikely. And it's even more unlikely whenever you would uncover an entire hour-long live stream, not a video that could be edited, a live stream, to the point where in 55 minutes and around 48 seconds, you do not make a single tick. You don't have a single jerk in your movement. You don't have anything that you say randomly. It just shows that your alleged Tourette's do not exist. So, with all of the exposed videos and all of the allegations behind the fact that Emerald was faking their Tourette's, the one thing that Emerald decided to do was allegedly go and see a specialist that would special on these types of things and prove all of the trolls wrong and prove that they actually did have Tourette's. The slip that Emerald pulled up to prove their, you know, Tourette syndrome was real, they showed a document stating their 13 past medical history. But the one thing that really stuck out to many people was the fact that PTSD was listed twice at number 6 and number 8 of their past medical history. People also pointed out that it would be weird that the specialist would write down very pleasant 27-year-old left-handed lady. So with all of the sketchiness surrounding the entire situation, they would eventually go on to turn off their comments and just kind of shut down and do the turtle technique, to be honest with you. But that isn't the end of all of the craziness from the situation. It actually just gets even more crazy with a response and a call out from Emerald's very own sister on Reddit. 
A user on Reddit by the name of Jade4101 titles this post by saying, Introducing myself and the truth. And it writes, Hi everyone. I recently found out about everything going on. I wanted to clear up some misconceptions and share my part. I am Emerald's sister, and we grew up together. Although we are a raised Christian, my mother and I have always been supportive of Emerald and miss them dearly. We have always accepted them. They cut communication with us. We have tried to reach out, but they no longer wish to have contact with us. We have tried to reach out, but they no longer wish to have contact with us. We haven't talked in years. I'm just commenting in hopes of clearing up misinformation. Also, my grandpa does have Huntington's. It's late onset, which means it doesn't show up until late in life. My grandpa is currently suffering from the side effects and is not doing well. It's very sad. My mother has it too, but it's not been showing yet. Lastly, I don't believe Emerald has Tourette's Syndrome, and they never showed any symptoms as a child. They are mentally ill though. I love my sister, always will, and I wish them the best, but I don't agree with what they have done. It's incredibly disrespectful to fake a mental illness for any reason. I am extending my sincerest apology to everyone. Their actions have hurt. Although I know it's not my apology to give, I do wish for Emerald's safety. All I ask is for respect and privacy for my parents and grandparents. And if you do not believe me, I'm willing to answer any and all questions that you people may have. And for some context about the line where they said they didn't have any signs or didn't have Tourette's when they were a child, when they were living together, Emerald constantly said that they had Tourette's from the very young age of seven. One Redditor goes on to ask, Do you know why Emerald might have fabricated all this? Do they have a tendency to want attention regardless of it being good or bad? Emerald's sister responded with, Honestly, I'm unsure why Emerald would fabricate this. I was kind of in shock when I first heard about it and everything. But yes, they do have a history of fabricating stories or stretching the truth, so to speak. That would ultimately be the main final thing that would slowly lead to the account deletion of Ticks and Roses. They did have another account on TikTok that they would post to, and then immediately after they deleted their account, they went on to make a few more videos talking about the situation, where they would just consistently be the victim in this entire situation. Hey, I was not planning to address this anymore, because addressing it has not fixed it. I have not gotten through my tics, I just don't record on days that I have my tics, because I was literally bullied off the internet. So I do not do awareness for Tourette's anymore, regardless of the fact that I do have a clinical diagnosis. So I'm spending my time on my yarn business and on my religious group, and I just want to live my life. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't really know how to say this, guys, but uh, I was bullied off the internet for just, you know, positively talking about Tourette's Syndrome and spreading awareness for it. I definitely didn't, you know, have monetary gain, make merchandise over the fact that I was faking Tourette's. I definitely wasn't faking the Tourette's. I definitely wasn't having gain everywhere and getting a massive following on social media for the fact I was faking those Tourette's. I was going to play the victim and say that I was bullied and harassed off the internet. And that diagnosis I showed you guys definitely didn't look like I wrote that myself. Definitely wasn't me. Definitely didn't have multiple other factors that Underflow didn't talk about in this video that led to me writing it myself. But you know what? I'm the victim in this whole situation. Uh, you know, poor me. I, I can't believe I didn't get away with faking Tourette Syndrome and having monetary gain on it. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I just quickly want to say one very important thing, and that is going to be that later on in the day I'm going to have a community post out. It's going to have a poll, and if you're any what interested in voting on this poll, it's going to have something to do with one of the more interesting and longer types of videos that I'm going to do. I'm going to name a bunch of people that you guys would be interested in me doing a deep dive on. People consist of like Daniel Larson, Papa Chu, World of T-shirts, etc. Stuff like that. And if you guys would want a deep dive on that person but that is it for today's video so thank you all for watching today's video hope everybody watching has a great day or night depending on the time of day that you do watch this video and i will see you guys all in the next one stay safe see ya